Assalamualaikum. Welcome to Chapter 5, Motivation. Okay. Uh, so, for this chapter, Motivation, there are a lot of the concept, theories, scholars that you want to look into. So, we're going to have three videos for this chapter. Okay. So, this is video number one. So, of course, we need to know the definitions of motivation. Motivation is a set of forces that causes people to behave in certain ways. It is a psychological process that gives purpose and direction to behavior. Forces, a uh, set of forces, okay, mean that there are some uh, that push the individual, the people to achieve the goals or the whatever that they want uh, to have. Okay, so everyone okay, needs these forces factors to push them forward. Okay, so that's what we call as motivation. So in this uh, chapter, there are a lot of theories of motivation then that we want to look into. Okay, the first one is the human resource model. Okay, under this model we have McGregor's theory X and theory Y, and then we have need-based models. Okay, so the number one is Maslow's hierarchy of needs, and the second one is Herzberg's two-factor model. And the last one is the process-based models. Okay, we have expectancy model, equity model, goal setting, and also reinforcement theory. Okay, so first we're gonna look into the early views of motivation human resource model. Okay, so we believe that people want to contribute to organizational effectiveness. Everyone who work under the organization, we believe that they want to help the organization to become effective. Okay, so under uh, the early views, we have Douglas McGregor theory X and theory Y. Okay, so according to McGregor, theory X managers perceive that their subordinates have an inherent dislike of work and will avoid it if at all possible. Okay? So, uh, Tori X assumed that people didn't like to work. So, whenever we don't like to work, of course, we try our best to avoid doing the task. Okay? Well, for Tori Y, managers perceive that their subordinates enjoy work and that they will gain satisfaction from performing their jobs. So if this theory Y is contrary to theory X, while theory Y, the subordinates, the employees, they enjoy to work, okay? So whenever the people enjoy to work, so of course, whenever they do the task, their activities, so they will gain satisfaction. They're always looking to do their job. So let's see further for the theory X and theory Y. So let's compare. Okay? So we want to compare theory X and theory Y according to the factors. Okay? So the first factor is the employee attitude okay, toward work. Okay, theory X assumes that employees dislike work and will avoid it if at all possible. So the attitude is they didn't want to do the work. So they will try to push the task given, okay, avoid uh, as best as they can. Uh, tell you why employees enjoy work and will actively seek it. Okay, so I'm going to tell you why employees really want to work. So they always, when they finish the task, they always looking what else that they can do. Okay, the second factor is management view of direction. Okay, the how the management going to direct the employee. Theory Y assumes that employees must be directed, course controlled, or threatened to get them to put forth adequate effort. Okay? Since Theory X will assume that they didn't like to work, they always avoid to do their tasks, so the management have to direct the employees, okay? cause the employee control employee in order to make sure that the employee do their tasks. Okay? Theory Y assumes that employees are self-motivated and self-directed toward achieving organizational goals. Since we know that Theory Y, the employee, uh, enjoy work and they always seek for the task, so the management don't have to force them to do the task. They are already uh, motivated to do the task, so even though the management didn't push them to do the task, they didn't direct them to do the task, they already start doing the task on their own. Okay? The third factor is employee view of direction. Okay? 
what the employee uh, hope that the, the management will do. Okay, so theory X okay, assumes that employees wish to avoid responsibility, so they prefer to be directed and told what to do and how to do it. Since this employee, theory X, they didn't like to do the task. Okay, so if you don't ask them to do the task, they won't do it. Okay, so. Uh, this employee, they always hope that the management will tell them what to do and how to do it. If the management didn't tell them what to do, how to do it and all, they won't do anything. Okay? So the management have to tell them. If the management need them to do that, so the management have to tell them. Okay? Jerry Y assumes okay, employees seek responsibility. They wish to use their creativity, imagination, ingenuity in performing their jobs. They enjoy work. Okay? So uh, even though they are not told to do the task, they already do it. Okay? So they wish that since they are very motivated, they want to use their own creativity, imagination, their effort to do the task. Okay. And the last one in terms of management style. Okay. For theory X, okay, authoritarian style of management. If the management have this type of employee, theory X employee, where the employee didn't like to do work, so the management have to use the authoritarian style. Authoritarian style meaning that the management has uh, full authority to make the employee do the task. So the, the management must continuously direct them, told them to do the task. Okay? Well, for theory Y, the management can use the participatory style of management. Okay? Since we know that the employee always looking for tasks okay? and they have a lot of ideas, very creative, so the management can use participatory style of management. Participatory style of management meaning that you always invite them, participate, uh, Ask for their participation in whatever that the management plan for them. For example, if the management uh, have to come up with a new um, project, so ask them, ask the employee to participate, to give their ideas. Okay? So this type of employee, since they're always looking for, uh, they enjoy their work, looking for extra jobs, so they have a lot of ideas to contribute. Okay? So these are the comparison between the theory X and theory Y assumptions. So the management have to make sure what type of employee that they have, whether they have the, uh, the theory X employees or theory Y. Okay. Okay. So this is uh, the summary of the theory X and theory Y. You can have a look at this. Okay, next we go to Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Okay, so individuals have various needs and try to satisfy these needs using a priority system or hierarchy. Okay, so Maslow, okay, uh, Maslow specified five fundamental needs. Okay, according to uh, Maslow, there are five uh, needs, basic needs that the individuals have to fulfill in the form of a hierarchy. Okay? So we have the lower order needs. Okay? So lower order needs must be satisfied before higher order needs can be addressed. Okay? So let's see the hierarchy. Okay, so this is the hierarchy, this is the uh, pyramid, okay. So the two below here is the lower level, okay, and the three here is the higher level. According to Maslow, people or individual, they have to fulfill the lower level first before they can proceed to the higher level. Meaning that all the individuals must fulfill from the bottom here, and then after they fulfill here, and then you can, they can go up to the security and that's when they can climb to the higher level and so on okay so here we have the lowest one is physiological needs okay? physiological needs or we can say as basic needs okay for example good Okay, comfortable working conditions, basic wage or salary. So basically, we can say that people uh, are motivated to try to fulfill their physiological needs. For example, 
uh, to have working, to get the money, to get the salary. Okay, so with that salary, they want to buy food, clothes, shelter for themselves. After they fulfill all their physiological needs, okay, then they will go and try to fulfill their security needs. Okay. Security needs is protection against threats or unsafe working environment. Okay. Fair treatment from management, job security, predictable work environment, and so on. Mean that they want to be fit secure by themselves. Okay, they want to have a secure uh, work or job with the fringe, a good fringe benefit. Okay. After they fulfill the security needs, they will try to fulfill the affiliation needs. Okay? Affiliations is acceptance by others, association and communication with others, and being part of a group. So under affiliation needs, they want to be connected with others, to have love, affections, belongingness with others, okay? to, have, to communicate with others. Okay. After they fulfill the affiliation needs, then they will try to fulfill the esteem needs. Okay. Self-esteem, use of one's skills, achievement, confidence, autonomy, independence. In terms of reputation, they want to have a good status, okay, to be recognized, recognition from inside the organization or maybe outside the organization. Appreciation of others, they want to get appreciation from others. Okay. And the last one is self-actualization. Okay? Realizing one's full potential to become more creative and self-development. This self-actualization is something that uh, they never done before. It is the top or the highest achievement of their life. Okay? So here we have other examples. Okay? For, uh, for example, for physiological needs in terms of food, okay, or the basic salary, security needs in terms of stability, or inside the organization, maybe you want to have a pension plan or a good fringe benefit at the organization. For the social needs, we want to have a good uh, friendship relationship, or inside the organization, we want to have friends at work. Okay? For esteem needs, maybe in the society, we want to have the status recognition from the society or inside the organization maybe the uh, higher position okay? and for the self-actualization the highest need is we want to uh, have our own achievement okay and in terms of at the organization maybe we want more a challenging job okay? this is the example for Maslow hierarchy of needs the same one okay also, example in terms of the uh, management uh, manager's perspective, you can read on your own. Okay? So that's it from the first video. Uh, we continue in the second video.